guys. Early Viking Ale review. Okay, uh, another brew dog beer. This one is a very strange one. Um, the reason I got it because it's a new one of their new lines, and it just sounds really, really odd. It's the seventy-seven lager, basically, but barrel aged, which um, takes it up to like a whopping what is it, seven point seven point seven percent, which coincides with a seven seven, I suppose. But yeah, a barrel aged lager. I mean, that's mental. I mean, barrel aged stouts I've had, yeah. Um, but not a lager. Anyway, let's give you some info on it. It says, um, okay, right. <laughs> Why do they have to write all this stuff on there? Um, there's nothing telling you about the beer. They're just going on about mystical lands and stuff like that, so. Anyway, it's an oak aged imperial lager. 7.7% and it's from Brewdog, so you know it's just going to be a little bit mental, so let's give it a go. Because that's all you want to see out there, you don't really want to read, me to read the bottle out to you because you can do that yourself if you buy it. Right. Okay, pour wise, colour looks um, slightly darker than the usual 77. Not too much though. A uh, bit of a chill haze on it because it is a lager. It's got to be cold. Don't care if it's okay aged or not. Um, Whitehead, not very, not um, very discoloured. I thought it might have a bit of a tinge on it, but no. Looks like um, like a decent sort of craft lager in the glass. Right, let's see what the nose is like. Oh, that's quite strange, actually. It's almost like a, um, like a creamy sort of rum. Um, it's very mild, very smooth. Yeah, I'm getting cr um, crumbs. I'm getting rum, and I'm getting a tiny bit of vanilla as well, but I'm getting almost like a creamy smell. Yeah, bloody hell, that's really weird. So, a creamy, rummy, biscuity, slightly, very, very slight chocolatey sort of smell. Very odd. Right, let's give it a go. Cheers. Now that is, mm, that is really, that's nice and very strange as well. To describe this to someone who's never had it before, <coughs> would be, it starts off like, it starts off like you're drinking an Innocent Gun original. Um, you're getting that sort of vanilla -y, woody, cask sort of taste, combined with a very clean sort of refreshing ale. But, once that starts to sort of fade down a bit, this almost like a sourness comes up from the top, from the bottom. Like a, um, a very slight, almost like a, a lambic -y sort of sourness comes up from the bottom and sort of crashes into these oak, oaky flavors, giving it a very strange but pleasant flavor. And then you're left with like a sour bitterness with the vanilla and the oak on the roof of the mouth. It's really odd. But I'll tell you what, and it's said so many times in beer reviews and some people must get bored of hearing it, you still can't taste that much of an ABV on it. It tastes like a four or five percent, it's nothing warming or burning or anything like that. Um, you know, 7.7% is pretty big. It's a pretty big ABV. I know some of the guys in the States think that's like tap water, but you know. Hmm. 
Mm. Nice sort of medium carbonation. Um, not the best brew dog I've had. It's got some very unique flavours, but I don't think it works very well. Um, the Oak Asian is probably not best suited to something like a lager because a lager is quite a light body anyway, and um, and I think that's what what's 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 making it taste sour is that lager hops coming in, and because it's because it's merged with this oak aged, almost sweet vanilla um, flavour, it's almost like um, converting it to create this very odd sourness, um, which at first is quite pleasant, but. After a few gulps, it gets a bit sickly. So, hmm, it's still nice. It's definitely one to try if you just want to try something a bit different. There you go, the um, Barrel Age Seventy Seven Lager. What am I going to give it out of ten? I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a seven point seven out of ten. No, I'm not going to do that, it's cheesy. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Because it's very unique, but the fact that I probably won't buy this again gives makes it knock down, obviously, to a 7. Um, but it's a very unique beer, and there are, there's probably people out there that really like it. Me, personally, it's alright, but it's a bit too odd for me. Um, anyway, so there you have it. Thanks very much. And uh, that probably means I'm not cool if I don't like it. Who cares? Churr!